Hello, my purple banditos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time, we defeated the Saffron City Gym and obtained our sixth badge from Sabrina. Today, we're going to make our way back to Cinnabar Island as we are ready to continue on to our next gym. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. As you can see, Loki and I are very pumped, very excited to be here with you on the adventure. Let's go ahead and take a trip through the sky then as we make our way back to Cinnabar Island. And upon arriving, I'll show you guys who I have on our team. Mixed it up a little bit. So we are back here in Cinnabar Island and our party is looking stronger. I told you guys that I was going to evolve Arcadabra, and I was finally able to trade it. So I'd like you guys to welcome Vision, who is now fully evolved to our team. We have an Alakazam, and that's going to be absolutely amazing for us. I have Psychic, Calm Mind, Dazzling Gleam, and Recover on our Alakazam, which is looking very strong. I was able to evolve it by trading one of my gym leaders in my Discord server. So thank you so much to Mudkip. Appreciate it. It's always really nice to have a lot of help when I need it. So here we are, guys. There's the Cinnabar Lab. And let's take a look around this place and just see what's up. This is the first time we've been in Cinnabar. So we need to see what we can find. Scientists sometimes go into the Pokemon Mansion to carry out different experiments. And check this out. This is the Cinnabar Island Pokemon Gym. The gym leader is Blaine, the hot-headed quiz master. But as you can see, the door is locked, and there's a message written in small letters on the door. Quiz time! Where is the key that'll let you into this gym? Hint! The answer can be found somewhere in a building that is overgrown with greenery. Hmm, I wonder which building could be overgrown with greenery. But before we do that, let's step inside of here and say what's up! What are you guys doing in here, scientists? You guys just, you know, checking out some rare Pokemon. You guys hanging out. All right, it doesn't seem like they're doing a whole lot. I was hoping we'd be able to get at least a little TM or something in here. That's why you gotta make sure you look around and check for everything. I've been missing a couple TMs that I need to find. So I'm gonna look around and hope that we can do something. Maybe when a fossil comes through. Ooh, they're talking about fossils. This guy's an important doctor. He studies rare fossils. Do you have a fossil? We do! We have the Helix Fossil! It's a fossil of Ammonite, a Pokemon that's already extinct. Shall I use my resurrection machine to make that Pokemon live again? Yes! Do it, Dr. Frankenstein! So with that, guys, we handed over the Helix Fossil! Success! The fossil was an Ammonite as I thought! And with that, guys, we got an Ammonite from the Doctor! Yeah! So there we go, that's pretty awesome. The Ammonite's data will be added to the Pokedex. It's a rock water type. It's a spiral Pokemon. An ancient Pokemon was recovered from a fossil, swam by cleverly twisting its ten tentacles about. An Omanite is going to be sent to the PC. Now we know where to come when we need to get our fossils revived. I know that there's still a couple fossils for us to find around here in Kanto, so it'll be good to get those done and come back over here. Thank you so much for that, Dr. Frankenstein, you know, bringing back fossils from the dead. I don't know how he did it. That dude is a miracle worker. He's out here raising the dead. So, you know, I don't know what they're doing in this place, but it's got to be for something that they're in here. They're doing something correctly. I'll take it, you know. I believe that science can be used in good ways if you choose to. It could also be used and you know, for some bad ways, which you could also see with Team Rocket and that sort of thing. There we go. We got TMO2 Taunt. I knew there was going to be something in here. Come on. If that's all it was going to give us. This guy's staring at a wall. He certainly does not have time for us. We kind of match these guys in here too since I'm wearing the uh, assistant outfit. Kind of matching everybody. Let's go ahead and step out then. We are officially done here in the lab. No running in the hallways. I know, man. I know. It's just so, so tough. You know, it's so exciting to run around here and to just say hey to everyone. Why wouldn't you want to say hi to all these guests? I wonder if there's a scientist convention in town and is that why all these guys are here seems like the only reason for this place is to revive your pokemon so if you want to bring your fossil over here be sure to do just that and check it out there's a picture in the wall it's a photo of the cinnabar labs founder dr fuji dr fuji you know what i'm saying we've met a mr fuji dr fuji you gotta keep that in mind 
So let's make our way inside of the building with greenery. We are inside of the Pokemon Mansion. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. If you hear that music, it's getting a little bit creepy in here. It's getting a little bit scarier. And it's time for us to look around and see if we can find the key to the gym, which is what we are here for, ladies and gents. We got a max lure. I'll take it, I'll take it. I don't want to lure out any Pokemon right now. So if we're for right now, we're just going to keep on going. There are mucks and grimers here, which is pretty cool. Good to see these Pokemon hanging around. And let's see what we can find on our way. Check it out, check it out. That statue's eyes are lit up. We got a max repel, and I will take it. So let's go ahead and check this out. You push the secret switch. You heard the sound of something moving somewhere. We definitely moved something. Could it be? Yes, it is. It is this door. And with that, guys, we got ourselves a max elixir. And am I going to be able to go any bit? No, I can't. I can't cross through here. So now this is where the real mystery begins. I got Pokemon blocking my path. Come on, Raticate. Let me catch this Pokemon really quick. We might as well just do it. I have some Ultra Balls. I'm ready to go. Are we going to do it? Oh, come on, Raticate. Are you serious right now? Give us a break. We're just trying to get as many Pokemon as we can in this place. I also hope you guys are having a good weekend. Hope that you're starting your week off with a bang. I've been having a decent week. A lot has happened to me. So I'm just out here just pushing through. As I always tell you guys, you got to keep a positive outlook and just keep on going with life. No matter what you're going through, you can always overcome it. Things always get better with time. So let's go ahead and go down this way and up the stairs. I checked the majority of the first floor. So we're ready to go to the second floor and see what we can find here. There's a magmar. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into it. Here we go, ladies and gents. We found a wild magmar. Great to see a magmar here. I've told you guys that as a kid growing up, seeing magmar, I thought it was one of those special cool Pokemon. It seemed like a legendary to me because of how it looked. So I, just seeing it here in person inside of this creepy place brings me back to the days. Very, very cool to see. So let's go ahead and get this guy. If I could just throw this correctly. One of these days, I'm going to throw the Pokeball straight. It's harder than you would think, especially when I'm using the red Nunchuck. Or the red Joy-Con. I just call them Nunchucks whenever they're off the grip. And they really is tougher than you would realize. I've been told that the Pokeball Plus is pretty cool, but that it's still difficult to use. So it depends on what you want. It really is just preference. There we go. We got the Magmar. And we're doing pretty good so far. Vision has grown to level 50. Our Alakazam strong. Tack is level 50 now as well. Our Charizard is very, very powerful. And with that, Magmar's data will be added to the Pokedex. And we're going to keep on moving through the mansion. We pushed a secret switch. And once again, something moved. This time around, I don't know what it was because I didn't look around the floor beforehand. So this time, we're just going to jump right into it and have a little bit of fun. So let's jump into our first battle of today. And let's see who it's going to be. It's going to be Burglar Arnie? This dude's up in here stealing things? All right, let's show the burglar a lesson. He has himself a Rapidash. So it seems like he'll be able to make a quick escape. We got our Alakazam out here, ladies and gents. And it is time to show you guys what our Alakazam can do. Here comes the quick attack, which is the one move that would have been faster than us since. I do have our speed and special attack way up there. And there we go. The Rapidash is down. I feel pretty good having an Alakazam here and a Gengar on our team. Both those Pokemon pretty rare here in Kanto so we got them traded and we were able to get them at our team so let's see where I am going to go just keeping an eye out here because I'm not too sure as I see more and more of these places in 3d it's like the the less I remember them because they look so much different let's make my way to the right there's a terrifying black hole over there i have no idea what that is we got ourselves three ultra balls though and this is where we want to go 
That ladder is going all the way to the top. So let's keep on looking. And I'm guessing it was that door down there that we opened with the switch. Because there's another door here that we haven't opened just yet. So let's go down this way. We got ourselves an escape rope. Thank you for that. I, I can't throw the escape rope over the gap, but you know, you think that you'd be able to do that? Throw it over, you know, have somebody help you through. We got ourselves a max revive. Okay, okay. So far, so good, but we are not finding anything which we need specifically. July 5, we discovered new Pokemon deep in the jungle. Ooh, you guys hear that? They're discovering Pokemon out here in the jungle, ladies and gentlemen. Somebody's out here jungling with Pokemon. Now, it looks like we are at a dead end. I need to find where we need to go. So let's make our way to the third floor. Maybe it'll be here in the third floor that we can find a statue to open up the room in the floor below. Something like that is happening here. Something like that is happening. Let's jump into a battle then. This place really is huge. A lot bigger than I expected it to be. And it's cool. I want to come back here and possibly look for a shiny Magmar. I know I have so many fire types. We have our Charizard. We have our Arcanine. It's just fire types are fun. I know this is one of those generations where there's a lot of strong fire types. So why wouldn't you want to use them? That Psychic is close to taking down the Magmar. So let's see if we can hang in there. Here comes the Fire Punch, ladies and gents. We did hang in, so let's go ahead and drop that Psychic. And Vision is going to wrap this battle up for us. See you later, Magmar. Good to see you, though, you know? Good to see you, good to see you. You guys keep on burglarizing whatever it is. Go steal whatever you guys can find. The real question is... If this place is abandoned, and these guys are considered burglars, and they're running around here, finding what they can, does that mean we're burglars too? Because we're doing pretty much the exact same thing that these guys are. That's all I'm saying, man. That's all I'm saying. We defeated Burglar Simon, and we got some Pokeballs. We're moving through. Diary, February 6th. We obtained a new Pokemon from you. We have named this new Pokemon Mewtwo. Whoa! So there you guys have it. Mew freaking 2, everybody. Mew freaking 2. Now, I need to figure out how to get to that other side. Because this is this is a little bit of a mess here. It's not like you're able to jump down the holes or anything. So let me go back down the ladder. And see where we can go, guys. And see where we can go. Let's go ahead and click this. I did push the secret switch. You guys know I'm already moving things around. So now let's go back up this way. And as you can see, the secret switch has opened the door. So you are going to be using it multiple times. And hey, look who it is. Oh, dear. I thought you were a burglar. Were you a kid trainer? Yeah. We're just the kid trainer. We're not a burglar. We're... We're not out here finding items and taking whatever we want in places that are abandoned or wherever people leave things on the table. Not at all! Here we go. Up against a Graveler. Let's do this thing. We got Vision up in front. And we're going to see what Vision can do here, ladies and gents. I'm going to go for the recover. Let me heal up a little bit. Let me give my HP back so I can start with some punches, you know, so we can start striking a little bit. The Graveler is going to go for the Rock Slide, and that is going to do a lot. So, before we go down, I'm going to go down fighting. We're going to drop a Psychic here, and if the Graveler does take us out, we have a bunch of other strong Pokemon that are ready to jump into battle as well. So there we have it, guys. Graveler is down. Who's coming out next? Maple grew to level 51. Polyrath is coming out. I'm going to keep Vision out. We're not stopping. This train is rolling. And we are a-going. So let's just keep it going. We got five psychics left, and that's going to be it. It should do a lot of damage here to the Polyrath. Polyrath is down. It's level 47. So you guys can see that the Pokemon are really starting to catch up in levels. But we're still a little bit ahead, which is good. Doug Trio. Last but not least. Let's drop one more psychic onto this Doug Trio. 
and we will see you later, my friend. That is it. The Doug Trio is going to go down. I like it. I like it. It's always good to see these trainers using different Pokemon. Great addition to the game. Rush grew to level 47. Blizz grew to level 51. That's our Articuno. And we beat Coach Trainer Rita. We got 4,700 for winning. Yeah. Battling is such fun. Yeah. We got TM22 Rock Slide. That's a really great TM. If you guys think we should teach that to any of our Pokemon, let me know. Awesome, awesome move. Let's keep on moving up then and see what else we can find in this abandoned mansion. It almost feels like I'm going through the Haunted Mansion. That was one of my favorite movies as a kid growing up, The Haunted Mansion with Eddie Murphy. I remember watching it countless times with my sisters. We owned like the DVD of it, so we would just watch it all the time. It was just one of those cool, like creepy movies where you could see yourself in that situation and how much fun would it have been to like, well, I mean, it probably wouldn't have been fun. It'd be terrifying. Well, it would be a heck of a story, you know, being locked in a haunted mansion like that. So yeah, you know, that's why I always enjoyed it. And uh, it's probably one of my favorite rides at Disney too, since I live here in Orlando, they have it. Let's push the secret switch. That's gonna flip flop the doors again for us as you guys are able to tell. And we are moving. We found the ladder too. So this is the ladder that seems to be taking us down and further down and up and around. So before we do take this ladder, I'm going to go back up and battle the trainer that we did just see. Let's mix it up. We will put Tack up in front. It's been a while since we've had Tack in a battle. So let's go ahead and do it. I love going through this place. It's been a lot of fun getting to explore these places. I also just have a lot of fun going through creepy places it's not only you know haunted mansion it's also scary houses you know haunted houses if you guys have ever gone through them here in orlando specifically they uh, they have some at the theme parks well they're turning the theme parks into like you know all the scary things and it's, it's really fun i've only gone once but the one time i did i wasn't even that freaked out i was just kind of excited i was running on adrenaline because it was just so much fun Everybody else was freaking out and kind of scared, and I was just enjoying it. I think that that's what made it fun for me, that I was kind of just, you know, I, I was a little bit out, like a, just a little step back and just kind of observing, and just seeing everybody freak out just cracked me up, and that's just how I enjoyed it. So the, the rides don't really freak me out. Going through those haunted houses don't freak me out too much. I'm sure that there are some that would. I heard that there was like a Halloween one this year. That's a really big horror movie franchise and that one would definitely creep me out seeing you know one of those people in there it, it would be freaky we'll see what there is I didn't get to go this year maybe next year maybe next year they always come and go I'm gonna drop that seismic toss and that is gonna do a good bit of damage and check it out Tack is out here dodging things for us good work Tack I'm gonna drop the wing attack get it wing attack Attack. There we go. The Magmar is down. And so far, so good. We're gaining some XP and we defeated the scientist. If you guys are wondering too how I'm switching in and out different Pokemon, it's because I want to have a bigger team. So we're using a team bigger than six here. So if a Pokemon you like is in the PC, don't worry. It'll most likely be coming out later on in the story. Heck, I'm even using Articuno right now. And that's a Pokemon that I would normally not use. I don't use Legendaries that often. But Pokemon Let's Go is a little bit different. And I want to have some fun with it. So we got ourselves a Hyper Potion. It does not look like we are going to be able to proceed much further from here. But we will battle this guy. So let's go ahead and get it going. We've been doing fantastic so far, guys. And here comes Ace Trainer. He's got two Pokemon... One of them is gonna be a Kingler. Let's go ahead and do it. We got Tack up in front. This is not the best matchup for us. So let's get Tack the heck out of here before we start getting a little bit rushed. It's also really, really crazy how much time has passed since this game came out. It's already been about a month since Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee have been out. And it's been a wonderful month, I have to tell you guys. It seems like everybody has been having fun with the game. And now that Smash Bros. is out as well, it's showtime. The Nintendo Switch is really starting to take off. 
I've been playing a lot of Smash Bros recently. I just picked it up. I've been trying to unlock all the characters. I'm still working on it. It's taken a little while, but I'm close to it. I'd say I'm about halfway to completing the roster. And once I complete the roster, I want to make sure I really put in some time and get good at the game. If I want to be challenging you guys on live streams and battling, I need to improve. Trust me, I really need to improve. Right now, I am not even close to my full potential on Ultimate. So I need to put in some practice and see how it goes. It's different than Smash 4. You can definitely feel it, so that's just taking a little bit of getting used to for me. But overall, I'm having a lot of fun with the game. It's beautiful. They've had it, like, every map in there. They have every song. I can't believe they've made a game that really is the ultimate version. So with that, guys, we defeated the Ace Trainer. And we got ourselves some XP. We're doing pretty good so far here in this mansion. So let's make our way back up. And you know I'm getting all the XP I can out here. You know I'm getting all the XP. So let's go ahead and make our way back on over and see where it is that we are going to go so let's push the switch that's gonna open up another little door for us and we need to go where that ladder was where exactly was that little ladder it was not here was it yeah 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 okay let me go ahead and do this again the switches is what trips me up a little bit because I forget sometimes what exactly they're sliding they're sliding everything around here for us there we go that's the ladder so let's go down another trainer which we will be battling but I believe we are on the right course so let's go ahead and get to it it's gonna be real real fun getting to take down all these scientists four guys have just been out here doing tests on you apparently as you guys can hear from the journal this is where the things were happening this is where the magic happened all right we got ourselves an electrode let's go for the dragon pulse that's gonna hurt a little bit Ooh, at least it didn't take us down I'm surprised about that one to tell you guys the truth and the electrode is not going down either so we are gonna just stick it out we're gonna drop the dragon pulse and we're all gonna have a battle out here we're battling you're battling everybody's out here gonna lose a Pokemon because we are apparently just going to be stubborn and fight each other till the end. The Electrode is down. Let's go ahead and see what the next Pokemon is for this scientist. Come on, scientist. Give us something good to battle. It's a Muck. Okay. Then we are just going to get Vision out here. And we are going to wrap this thing up. We've been doing a great job of progressing through this game. We've explored so much of the Kanto region. And I'm feeling pretty good. We have two badges left. The map is just about complete. There are still some legendaries on the board for us to go get. We have the legendary birds to go after. We already have Articuno, but we still have Zapdos and Moltres that we need to find. So keep an eye out for those, guys. Keep an eye out for those, as we will be finding them very soon. So there we have it, guys. Vision grew to level 51, and we defeated Scientist Ted. We got 2700 for winning, and let's keep on moving through the mansion. The mansion is looking pretty empty. Pretty empty. They don't even have any paintings on the wall. We found a Firestone. Also, speaking of paintings, if you guys can see right here above my shoulder, that's a painting that my aunt did for me. It's a Purple Rodri painting. Super cool. Super awesome. I'm really thankful. She's had my back since I was a kid. One of my role models, you know, always told me, stay in school, you know, graduate, be smart about it, you know, and, and save your money. So always someone who, who always had great intentions for me. And it makes me happy that she's supporting me, that she made me a little painting. So uh, I'm just gonna, you know, have it up there. It's really, really cool. If you guys could see it in person, man, it looks wonderful. Okay, so now we're starting to get to things. This is TM52 Sludge Bomb. And we are down in the darkest areas of the mansion. So let's go and jump into a battle. We gotta keep track of which areas we've explored because there is a lot of areas here. The burglar is out. Okay, burglar. Now there's something going on. Since this burglar has four Pokemon with him, my guess is this guy has been doing pretty good. That his business has been going quite well. 
What would you be looking for here, though, is the question, because all we've been able to find are max lures and that sort of stuff. If there were people doing some serious experiments here before, I can imagine there being scrap metal and things like that. So I suppose that's what the burglars are probably going after, is scrap metal and things of that sort. Let's go ahead and do it. That coughing is a down. We're getting some good XP for this, guys. Tack grew to level 51 as well. So good for Tack right now. Our Tack is doing some work. And last but not least, he's probably just going to have a team full of coughings. I think we've battled just about everyone here. I say that often, but I really mean it this time. We've just battled about everyone, I would say. Because there were so many trainers in this place hanging out. For this place to be abandoned, really isn't that abandoned. Here comes a wheezing now. Weezing is level 44, so this is going to be an easy one to take down. And let's go ahead and do attack. That's it! Weezing's out of here. We just swept this guy. Weezing's out of here. Let's go. We're moving on. We defeated Burglar Lewis. Burglar Lewis, you got to find yourself another profession, my man. You're not that good at your job, man. You really, really aren't, dude. You just lost to us. Like, come on, man. What are you doing, Burglar? We got our max potion over here. You guys can see that there's like shattered information. Why is that Magmar running around? That was kind of goofy there. Don't know what it was doing. So let's come back around. And now we need to hit that switch, get the statue going, and check it out! It's a little ditto! Yo, that's awesome! That's the first ditto we bumped into here. It's huge. No, it's not! How is it? How is it huge? All right, this thing is jumping around way too much for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and use one of our Nana Berries so it stops jumping around this place. Now let's see if I can catch it. Oh, that was a terrible throw. Okay, great. And hopefully that'll do it. Let's add the Ditto to our team. Come on, little Ditto. Are you serious? Excellent. If the excellent ball doesn't do it. I don't know what ball is going to do it. And there we have it, ladies and gents. Ditto has been caught. Let's keep on going. Everybody's gaining XP out here. Our party is looking quite strong. And we got Ditto. The data has been added to the Pokedex. And that's a cool Pokemon to have. Okay. So far, so good. Let's go ahead and flip the switch then. And we are... We heard the, the sound of something moving somewhere. I know about that. I know about that. So now we do the loop-de-doop. This makes a whole lot of sense here, guys. This makes a whole lot of sense. Ditto, you guys, you gotta stop popping in our path. We're good now. We already caught you. You're added. You're in our Pokedex. Don't worry about it. Okay. This place is ideal for a lab. Look at all this space. There's another statue up ahead. Also, a couple beds, which means we might be able to just heal up. And we need to heal up. Our Pokemon have been taking a beating here. I haven't even been using all of our Pokemon yet. But the ones we have, you can see are low on HP. All right, let's go for the Flamethrower. Electabuzz is level 45. This might just take it down. And it almost did. Here comes a Thunderbolt. Tack is going to go down. Good work, Tack. Good work. We appreciate everything you've been doing for us. And let's see. Let's see what we are going to do. I'm going to bring out Rush out here, guys. Rush needs the XP. Rush is only level 47 right now. So you know what I'm talking about. Our shiny Arcanine needs a little bit of gains. Let's go for that Outrage. And that should do it on the Electabuzz. No way it's going to stand up to us. And it is down. We did hit a crit. Thank you for that, Rush. You're out here just destroying, destroying other Pokemon. We got 2,700 for winning. And now, can we take a little nap here? Yes, let's take a rest, guys. Let's take a rest. So good. That feels great. You know what I'm talking about? We needed that. Let's go ahead and push the secret switch, as I believe I did see a door to the left that we were going to have to wait to go into. We got ourselves... A rare candy. Yeah, rare candies are good. Pokemon love them. 
Pokemon love to eat them rare candies. Whoa, it looks like something definitely happened in here. And there we have it! We found the secret key! Heck yeah! We did it! We actually found it! And whoa, check this out. If this doesn't look like a place that has been, you know, ransacked, I don't know what is. It's a large container made of thick glass. Looks as if something has been beating on it over and over from the inside. Whoa, I don't want to find out what busted out of here. Take a quick guess of what it is and you guys might already know. We were reading about the lore here and it seems like this is where they were containing Mewtwo. So with that guys, it looks like we are done here. We got ourselves the secret key, which is what we were looking for. So we are ready to head on out. Let's use that escape rope. And we are out of this place. Awesome. That was some good work. We were able to find everything that we wanted. We got ourselves an antidote as well. And it looks like we are now going to be able to head inside of the gym as you guys are able to see. Yo, champ in the making. This gym is... Here we go. First question. Wait, Mr. Blaine, it's not your turn yet. Uh, that's right. Uh, the old man you just saw there was the gym leader, Blaine. He's a fire-type Pokemon pro. You did well finding the secret key to get in the gym here, so I think you're ready to take on this gym. As you might have guessed, you have to take on a quiz at this gym, as well as battles. Try to have a good time. So as you guys heard, we are ready to take on the gym, as we now have access, and we are ready to head inside. So next time, ladies and gentlemen, we will be continuing from here on Cinnabar Island. So make sure you guys leave me some tips and comments on what's coming up. If you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button and join the Purple Banditos today. I'm trying to get to a million subscribers. Help me out. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button. And I will catch you guys in the next episode of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Goodbye.